He was so imaginative, and he had just a style that you could you could very easily pinpoint his work. I don't think anybody in the, the history of the parade has been more prolific in their designing and has uh, achieved more awards in that respect. The best concept designer ever in this industry, and to this day, Designers have tried to copy him. He had a special magic, a twinkle. He, he, he could just put that pizzazz in everything that he drew up. His design work really was very sculptural. It really told stories. It, uh, it had multiple elements. And I think really he was a trailblazer in this in this parade, but also in the float design industry itself. Professionally, he designed for 38 years for the Rose Parade. The first float, which he designed for the city of Whittier, it was a winter scene, a snow scene. That was the spark. So he could take an idea and stretch it in any direction. And it could be whimsical, it could be elegant, it could be historic. He made a tremendous impact on the Rose Parade. In fact, you know, over the years, Raoul and I worked on over 500 floats. And over the last 20 some years, we have won the Sweepstakes Award, in fact, 23 years in a row. And that is such an accomplishment. Tournament of Rose Sweepstakes Award is the highest award. I suppose it's kind of the Oscar of the Tournament of Roses. He was one of my greatest friends, and uh, I dearly, dearly miss him. He would just, a grand presence, he'd walk in, and there was birds and feathers and laughter and people always around him. It was always a production with Raul, and that's, and that's greatly missed. Last year of um, his life, he had no designs in the parade. He'd been ill. He was riveted to the TV, and he was just so impressed with the magnificence, the collaboration, and the smiles, and the impact, and the, just the hugeness of it all. Creating beauty and joy on the first day of the year, to, to begin each new year on a positive note. That was his ultimate step of success. So the first time I've ever been to the Rose Parade was when I was about eight years old and I didn't know what was coming when I first got there. It just was amazing. The sights, the sounds, the smell. It's always at the beginning of the year, so it always means bringing a new life, new energy, new creation. So I always love seeing the Rose Parade in the morning. It always just brings new life to me. I love the Rose Parade. <laughs> The Rose Parade, to me, it means endless possibilities. If someone like Raul can get his imagination and turn it into reality, anything's possible. And I apply that in my own life. Yeah, for as long as I can remember, I've always been a part of the Rose Parade. I volunteered every year as a Girl Scout to help decorate the floats, and I can't even begin to tell you how many amazing people I've met. And at this point, the Rose Parade is not just an event, it's a piece of me. My very first time going to the Rose Parade, it was 2014, and I was instantly hooked. I mean, I went on YouTube, watched about 100 years worth of footage on the Rose Parade, and all of my favorite floats were designed by the same guy, Raul Rodriguez. My mind was instantly blown. 